Hi guys, this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and this is part two of two parts of my charm update. So yeah, go check out part one if you have not seen it already. So yeah, let's get started. First, um, I have this fox, fox, I can't talk today, fox necklace that I made, and this is inspired by something I saw on Etsy. So if you just look up fox charms, it's like below that if you have, um, I forgot which search thing it was yeah it's not it's not google search so yeah it's just on a necklace and it's really cute and um i've been wearing that a lot lately next i made this random fox and it was supposed to be an ugly doll but i don't know how it turned into a fox so yeah it was all orange and i just painted all the details on so yeah it's kind of ugly because i was being lazy then I made this flower because I was teaching an eight-year-old and a three-year-old girl how to do clay and yeah I had to do it really quick I didn't have time to clean it or anything and yeah I think it's really cute though I haven't made this type of charm since I was like 10 but yeah so it's just a little flower it's super simple but super cute I have this storm cloud which is super duper ugly because this lightning bolt broke off and yeah, don't really like it. I think I forgot to show that in my last, last charm update. And then I was experimenting with TLS. And um, let me just say that the TLS kind of failed on me because, as I said, I was experimenting. So the colors were not as vibrant as they should be. So as you can see here, this is one where the colored kind of fail. failed. Um, but yeah, the pink was not when it was cooked it kind of faded so I'm mad at that donut then the white did the same but I really like this because donuts kind of have um, a translucent kind of frosting anyways so yep and then I have this brown one next I have two cupcakes this one has a really dirty base but whatever so yeah and then this one has humongous chocolate chips on it and it's just very plain. Next, I made some cookies. So I made this marbled one, and these are kind of like deco pieces, and this pink one, which I really like, and this one with a happy face. It's a chocolate chip cookie, and I really, really like this one. It's so adorable. <clears throat> then I made a bunch of little Pop-Tarts. So I made these ones and the white as I said, the color was experimental, so yeah, it didn't show up. So those Pop-Tarts, these ones which I might turn into earrings, these ones have cinnamon on them, and these ones. Doo -doo -doo. So yeah, and then I have some resin pieces which are kind of good, kind of not, and I still need to sand them. So don't be critical of them, because I'm not re really good at resin. Um, I may have this cowgirl holding a cactus, and it's really adorable, and has different tinges of orange in there and red. I have this cupcake one, which something happened where it kind of faded up there, but what not? Who cares? Um, I do actually. <laughs> Then I made this one that I really hate because like there's hundreds of tiny tiny bubbles that the camera is not spotting but yeah it didn't turn out like I wanted it to. Then I made this baker girl holding um, a sticker batter and this is like my favorite one. I just really like the sticker and the girl inside of it. And then I made this little bear with some pink sprinkles inside it, candy sprinkles. So yeah, this is All Things Cupcake 2000. Go check out part one of this charm update. Bye guys.